Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the second day of our mini break that we are having here in right on the Sussex, beautiful Sussex coast. And uh, excuse the noise of the television in the background, the kids have got it on because it is a Saturday morning, and rather than get out there and enjoy some fresh air and play with the sand and watch the sea and listen to the seagulls and watch the whatever's going on out there, they would rather watch TV. Actually, they're looking out the window now because there's some people out there riding horses in the sea. Um, I haven't got the inclination or energy to get up, to be honest. I'm that chilled. Anyway, you had a good night's sleep, had a log fire going, and it was absolutely beautiful. And you could hear the sea lapping outside because uh, when, the, when the... Hello? The ship's coming uh, towards is, us. Is the sh I hope not. Not really. I hope not. <laughs> well, hopefully it'll hit the sand first and land there. Um, right, so... Anyway, there's a ship and three horses. Lovely. And they're, in the, they're riding in the sea. What, the ship's riding in the sea? No, the horses are. <laughs> and ship, I hope. Right, anyway, so what we're going to do today, we're going to have a chilled day. Um, a couple of my lovely, lovely subscribers uh, sent me a message yesterday regarding a haunted pub in um, Rye, which apparently is very, very haunted. And they were disappointed. They said, Dan, myself and my wife, uh, watch your um, program or your watch your um, uploads avidly. And we're very disappointed, we have to say, because... You haven't visited, I think it's the Mermaid Pub in Rye, as it's notoriously haunted. So they Mermaid. asked if I'd go in there and uh, have a little bit of lunch today or something and check it out. So that is hopefully what we're going to do. That is my intention. Anyway, Willow here and Fox obviously want to get a toy shop, so we're going to do that as well. But we're going to have a lovely little walk around Rye and hopefully a bit of lunch in the pub and go from there. So, uh, yeah, oh, oh Hazel's out running. Did I tell you Hazel runs? Did, did she ever mention it? She's very quiet about that. Right, so I'll speak to you all later. Speak to you soon. I'm doing this through the patio doors because it's blinking freezing out there. Look at those horses there in the sea. There's a dog there as well. How cool is that? A couple of people out there having a nice brisk morning walk with the dog. Going to get Lily out later. It's raining out there, so... That's cool. Yes, Willow, you... Willow, you've seen horses before. Let's have a... It was only in there. Oh, there you go. Beautiful, eh? Very beautiful. So initially, what we used to think is we think if we ever move, we're going to move to this near the sea somewhere. We're going to get very, very close to the sea. And Hazel's ideal place to live would be like this: have a house on the actual beach. But as, Hall as Willow's quite rightly pointed out, Willow, point it out. What's it like? It's like living in a sandcastle. And why is it like living in a sandcastle? It's everywhere, everywhere. You know when you go on holiday and you get back from the beach and you've been outside and you've been on the beach or whatever, I don't really do that because every time I go on the beach, people try to push me back in. I think they feel that I'm a marooned whale. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I'm not a big sun lover in that respect anyway. I much prefer sort of colder climates to holiday. But you know when you go on a beach and every, when you come back off the beach, you pick your towel up, you go back into your hotel or whatever, and there's sand everywhere, yeah? You know that, don't you? But you can shower... And you can put the the, the towel into the um, washing machine, get it washed, it comes out clean, not a, not a speck of sand on it. And once you've had a shower, all the sand's gone for you. That isn't the case here. This is actually, because this is in the middle of the beach, where well, more or less is, it is, you can't get away from the sand. You bring it in on your feet, you tr there's, a brush, there's a brush out there, you sweep it up, you can't get rid of it all, it's on the stairs, it's in bed with you, um, while you're laying down having a sleep, it's everywhere. I picked a biscuit up earlier and I thought, oh, I fancy a biscuit with a cup of tea. And there was bloody sand on it. Um, I might make myself a sandwich. Ha ha ha! Dad joke. Anyway, yeah, it, that's what it's like. It's absolutely terrible. And it's kind of put Hazel off the idea of having a house this close to the sea, um, particularly on the beach. So, yeah, anyway. She's out running. Well, I'll tell you she's running. She mentioned she runs. She doesn't very often. What? Oh, I just saw a speeder boat. A speeder boat? Speed Not a speed boat. boat. She saw a speeder boat. A speeder boat? Is, like, is that like a canoe? -no -no? <laughs> or a super pip? See in a bit. Look at these two Herberts out here. Look at them. Nan as they are. Bit drizzly and rainy. Look at them. Mind you, that's what it's all about, isn't it? I'd rather they were doing this than sat on them bloody iPads or playing some blinking game. Oh, it's a bit... 
It's really, really atmospheric out there. It's gorgeous, actually. It's very, very, uh, very, very pretty. Very beautiful. Very rugged. Beautiful nature, eh? Beautiful nature. He's running around like a nana. Can you hear him? Oh, Hazel's upstairs. There you go. She's in a state of undress, as it were. Fox is going, mur, mur, mur. I don't know, I don't know. But it's a very, very beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, look at that view. Splendiferous. Just, just stunning. And it's very relaxing, very relaxing. Especially with the sound of the sea at the back, just lapping at the shore. Oh, lovely. Just lovely. Can't beat nature, guys. Don't even think about it. It's stunning. Best thing in the world. Best thing ever, nature. There you go. See you in a bit. Lily just turned me off. <laughs> Look how she's going mad out there. So, right, so. Lily's annoying other dogs. Right. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to go out and rescue a child from Lily, the lick, ever, lick, ever lickable Lily, because she was licking them to pieces and the child wasn't that happy with it. I don't know, I'd love, I love it when I get licked by dogs and attacked by dogs. It's brilliant. Not in a nasty way, I understand, but in a loving way, like most dogs tend to. So, um, yes, I've been looking up the Mermaid Inn. It's a, uh, the present building um, is in the, that's, that's there at the moment is a 14th century building, but it goes back way beyond that. Uh, I think the cellars downstairs um, go way back to the sort of Saxon period. You're looking at sort of 1040s, 1050s there. So, um, so they, they sort of predate the, the battle of actual, actual Battle of Hastings. So they're, they're pretty ancient. They're very ancient, in fact. But there's a lot of 16th century additions to it now. And there was a gang that used to go in there called the, well, they were smugglers, because obviously this is coast. And there's a very notorious gang, um, very, very notorious and infamous, and they were called the Hawksworth Gang. And apparently it is the um, spirits of the Hawksworth Gang, the smugglers, and their mistresses, and some other nefarious characters that actually haunt the Mermaid Inn. Um, so that'll be interesting. So, yeah, it's, it sounds like a very interesting place. It sounds like it might be a bit upmarket for us. Anything above McDonald's is a bit upmarket for us. But it sounds like it's a bit upmarket for us. But saying that, we'll just go in there and, and, and enjoy the ambiance. It's a nice word, ambiance. Uh, yeah, so it's a very, very old building. It's grade two listed. Um, and it looks like it's up a little cobbled lane. So, yeah, it, sounds, it looks very pretty, very English. And you know what I'm like. I love all, I love all stuff English. So, um especially our history and our heritage. So yeah, so I'm gonna take you there today. Um, I'd like to thank our subscribers that mentioned it and um, I will tell you their names as and when we get to the Mermaid Inn. Speak to you in a bit. Right, we're in Rye now. So we're just gonna go out and have a little look around. That'll take you up to the pub and we'll do the, uh, we'll have a look around there, shall we? Let's have a look around. So this is the car park. Look at it, it's very oldie worldy. And that's Mermaid Street up there. You can see it on the edge of that cafe. And just with that um, post office van, he's on the corner there, that car's come out. I think it's up here. And look at this very quaint little places. These look like they're old, um, these are old dockyard um, places, warehouses and what have you. And there's a key just over there. Yeah, I know. All this old stuff, they've got all these knickknacks. All antique stuff, all the... Brick of brat. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. It's all old fashioned stuff. Wonderful. Hunting dots, decoys. A little chum. Stone Demi Jones. Legs upside down. 
let's have a look inside, shall we? So we think this is the hill, we think the mermaid is up here somewhere, we believe. So we venture up, it's very pretty. Reminds me of that old Hovis advert, do you remember? I think that hill's actually in Dorset though. Very oldy worldy, very old England, very beautiful. Let's have a look. Jake or Jeek's house. Christmas cottage, look at that. Look quaint. Right, let's, I'll let you know when we're up there. Hartshorn house there, 15th century. It's an old hospital, 15th century hospital. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. Those mullioned windows. Right, let's carry on. That house there, 1520, it's called the house with two front doors. If you look on the doors, little church there. Jeek's house from this perspective. They're off, but catch them up. Right, we've arrived, the Mermaid Inn. There you go. Beautiful. Let's go inside, shall we? It's not open. Open 10 minutes. There you go. Hello, Willow. Hello, Hazel. Hello. Hello, Fox. Wave, Fox. No, he's not in a waving mood, I'm afraid. And that's the view down the hill. Hello, Lily. Woo -woo. There you go. So there you go, the Mermaid Inn, rebuilt in 1420. Lots of 16th century additions apparently. There you go, it's really, shame I can't get the whole sweep of it in really. But it's gorgeous. And if something could be gauged or being haunted by the look of it, then I would say this would definitely be one of those buildings. And they've got a plaque here about the Hawkehurst Gang. Do you remember what I was saying about the Hawkehurst Gang earlier? And there's a smuggler's trail through here as well. So, And these were the guys, this was the gang that used to uh, frequent this establishment. This is where all their nefarious goings on and their deals, their shady deals were carried out. And of course, it is said that today that it is those members of that gang and their accomplices and other nefarious friends and probably den of thieves in there at one point around that time, but uh, they said to still haunt it. So let's see. So there's the main door to the pub, guys. And if you look, look how old, oldy world it is. It's got above Willow's head or to the right of her now, or to the left of her now, you're looking at her. You see a sign there, it says Night Porter. So I'm guessing that goes back to the sort of 1920s or 30s and probably still in use today. So how cool is that? Absolutely fantastic. Guys, just look at this place. Look how posh it is. And ancient. Look at that here. God's death, my lord. We've got Elizabeth Reign up there, Queen of the First, which actually is of the period, as are all of these. Um, things on the wall, all of these decorations and these, uh, through here, you've got a snug, absolutely stunning, as you walk up here, look, Royal Crest, Royal Crest there, and you come back out again, and that's, can't get up there guys, but no spring till now, that's the access to the main rooms, busts, and, uh, sorry, and through there's a, Dining area, I believe, with a breakfast area. Um, reception. And someone look down here. Somebody in there signing something, Hazel. Somebody in there signing something. Excuse me, love. Eliza Trouton, Queen Elizabeth the First again. And these murals, all of the period. I guess that's Shakespeare, obviously. So, we aren't in the um, mermaid anymore because the mermaid is very, very, very posh. In fact, it's far too posh for us. 
it's the sort of place that um, Shakespeare and actors go and, and stuff like that. In actual fact, on the wall in there, as you go in, they had a, um, like a, 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 a wall of fame, and it was just Shakespeare and actors that had signed photos and various objets d'art and stuff, and it was just on this wall. And uh, it was so posh that the people that were in there, we felt really uncomfortable. Obviously, we're just sort of peasants. And the reason we felt uncomfortable was because they were so posh, they're the type of people that are so posh, they dare not deign to acknowledge you. They, they wouldn't even speak to you, um, they push past you, and just generally rude, you know, that sort of arrogance that comes with that sort of station in life. Not that I've got anything against people that have got money, there's lots of people out there with lots of money that are absolutely lovely. But, um, yeah, it was that posh that you could be posh enough to be arrogant and look down your nose at all and sundry. And uh, we didn't feel comfortable in there at all. It was, it was way beyond our level of, I was just say, way beyond our level of posh to still <laughs> the least posh people in the world, as you can see um, when you look at my vlogs. So we're now in another pub. I can't think what it's called. It's called the Standard Inn, which is in the main town itself of Ryan. It's very pretty. It's quite posh, but I think we can just about cut it in here. There seems to be lots of wedding parties around here as well, so... But, um, I would love to have done more in the in the uh, Mermaid, but if I, uh, to be honest, I, it was... There was a guy in there signing some papers, and there was people around and taking photos, and the news, pre the press were there, and, and that was in the main bar, and we just didn't feel comfortable in there at all. It was, um, yeah. I mean, as Hazel quite rightly said, when, when, when they list lunch as luncheon, you know you're in the wrong place, you know, you're <laughs> somewhere too posh for you, or what else anyway. So yeah, I'll get you some shots around here in a sec. So there's Hazel, in the less posh of the two pubs in the, uh, what's it called again, Hazel, the what? Standard Inn. The, the Standard Inn. So there you go, there's the main bar there, Fox is there, yeah, I'm getting a bit doddery in my old age. But it is pretty, and as you can see, it's very antiquated, and again, very English. Right up my street. Right, so we go there. You've got Tudor's Hill, which is a Tudor house. So you can go up the hill, you sweep up the hill. There. Let's have a walk up here, shall we? Oh, look at that. That's all cobbled in old fashioned down there. Let's have a look. Let's look up the hill. Very, very pretty. I was mistaken. Vastly mistaken yesterday. Absolutely gorgeous here. There's a very pretty and private muse right here. The old bell, which is another 15th century inn. There you go. Here, this is Lion Street. And you sweep round here. That's the main thoroughfare again. There's a very old grammar school there. That's where we've come from. And that is where we're heading. So forward we forward. So ahead of me is East Street, and that's one of those streets that come off of the main road. And we look down the main road, and there's a shop called Just Ten, which is, there's a row of shops here, and actually do look like they're um, traditional Tudor. In fact, I'm sure that, well, they are, without a doubt. So there's lots and lots of Tudor construction here. Um, some Georgian stuff, I'm guessing this is Georgian. Looks it, it's got that look. And uh, some Victorian stuff here and there, so yeah. Very, very pretty, very, very quaint. So that's the end of the town, as you can see. Through there, there's a bridge there. And here is Conduit Hill, which again is very, very pretty. Very oldie worldy. Absolutely just gorgeous. Yeah, I'm aligned, right? And I take it all back and apologise. It's absolutely stunning. Very, very pretty indeed. Right, we've done with Rye now. It was a very, very nice day. We spent a few hours in Rye looking around and perusing the uh, architecture and looking at the historical points. Very, very nice, as you can probably see in the video. And we're going to go back now to the cottage, get a big roaring fire going, and just relax and rest. I'm, I'm all puffed out, puffed out, I'm too fat for this. I'm all puffed out. But never mind, we have done quite a bit of walking today, so. Yeah, we'll see you when, uh, oh, when we get back to the Oh, we are back at the cottage, and I'm ever so grateful to be sitting down. Lily's gone out for a walk with Hazel, and uh, she's just went frolicking on the beach, and so is Willow. Uh, so is um, so so is Lily, 
And uh, yeah, so we're back here now. So come and have a look at this fire. It's absolutely beautiful. Got this going. There you go. So I've got the fire going. The kids have got the toys and games out. They're happy. The fire's going, burning away. Lovely there in the hearth. And I'm going to sit down and in a couple of minutes make myself a lovely cup of tea and just relax into the Saturday afternoon in a lazy, lazy way. So I'm going to call that it for the vlog tonight, guys, or today. And um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've, uh, well, I hope that I've shown you enough of rye to um, fix the damage that I did to it yesterday when I maligned it and said it wasn't that, I wasn't that keen on it. It wasn't that pretty, it was a bit boring, what have you, because it wasn't. I jumped the gun, I assumed and uh, yeah, so anyway, it's a beautiful place. And I'll probably, I'll see, I might be able to do a vlog tomorrow, but tomorrow, I, it won't be that, it's not gonna be that exciting really, because tomorrow we were just gonna have a completely chilled out and relaxed day. And we were just gonna sort of go on the beach with Lily and the kids, come back here, then go out, have some lunch, and then come back to a roaring log fire here and just fall asleep. Perfect Sunday, I think. So with that in mind, I will speak to you later, guys. Oh, I hope you're all having a very good weekend. And I'll speak to you all soon. Take it easy. Bye now.